Hey guys, so we're just going to chat a little bit about uh, spear gun lengths for diving in Victoria or Melbourne. Generally our visibility is not that great. We're not hunting, um, unfortunately we're not hunting big fish. Um, so uh, it depends a lot in terms of where you're going to be diving, or what kind of lengths you'd be looking at. Um, a good all-round length for the bay is something between a 70 centimeter and possibly a one meter gun. Um, so I'll just show you quickly, um, personally my personal preference is a closed muzzle gun, it makes for much quicker reloading um, and I'll show you the different lengths here, so we've got a short little 60, we've got a little 80 centimeter gun, if you're going to be doing um, in, in really bad visibility you're going to be looking for a shorter gun um, because if you extend your hand with a spear gun on the other end you don't want to, uh, you want to be at least be able to see the end of your spear gun. So if you're shooting a, or if you're using a, a longer 1.2 meter gun in really bad visibility, you probably won't even see the end of the spear gun. So that's when a shorter gun comes, comes into its own and really uh, uh, does a, uh, a good job. Um, my all round length for the bay is probably between an 80 and 90 centimeter gun. Uh, my main reason for that is if you go for somewhere in the middle, like let's call it like if you go for a one meter gun, if you're going for a shorter gun, then you're dropping down to possibly an 80 centimeter gun. Um, so you want about a 20 centimeter gap between the varying guns that you've got. Otherwise, they're going to really overlap in terms of length. Um, so uh, personally for myself, I've got a short little gun for kind of cave diving um, that I've got. That's a 60 centimeter gun. Um, and then I step up to about an 80 centimeter gun as my kind of all round gun for the bay. When the visibility, visibility gets really good, I use a 1.1 meter, uh, meter gun. So if you can have a look at, that's an 80 centimeter gun, that's a 1.1 meter gun. So there's quite a nice uh, difference in terms of length uh, and it'll give you a nice um, reach in terms of uh, um, if the fish hold further back in the clearer water, you'll be able to hopefully reach those fish um, in the clearer water. Um, if you're hunting um, for yellowtail, uh, kingfish, or uh, tuna, uh, which some of the guys hunt here in our kind of southern areas, you'd be looking at something that's 1.1 minimum, generally 1.2 to 1.3, possibly 1.4. Uh, bearing in mind that you know some of those longer guns, they are not that easy to track, uh, but a lot of those fish uh, in terms of tuna and kingfish can be pretty shy here in our waters. Um, and you need to have a gun that's got a good range on it um, when, when you're spearfishing here in Victoria. 